See, here's the thing. YouTube relies on servers to host and send its millions of videos to our computers. Clusters of these servers are grouped together on what are known as data farms. Data farms that handle a lot of traffic require massive amounts of electricity to function. And where do you think the bulk of that electricity comes from? Coal. Every second of YouTube video watched produces 0.2 grams of CO2. That may not sound like much, but as of 2011, YouTube reported over 3 billion views per day at a conservative viewing length of about 10 seconds each. That's a bit more than 78,000 tons a year, or the amount of CO2 generated by 4,500 Americans. In reality, that's not bad at all, and Google, YouTube's owner, has been actively engaged in the greening of its data farms. The real problem is with the rest of the world's servers. There are an estimated 44 million servers worldwide. As of 2010, these servers' electricity demands were producing CO2 at levels on par with small countries like Argentina. But as data demands increase, data farm emissions are projected to quadruple by 2020. In the future, data-intense companies like Apple, Facebook, and Twitter will have to revolutionize the way they handle their data. But only if people like us let them know that we care and we're aware. Join the sustainable data movement.